Johnny has a variety of weapon skills, including handgun level 1, submachine gun level 1, assault rifle level 1, shotgun level 1, and sniper level 1. This is actually rather beneficial for him, considering that his main weapon, which is unique to him, is an assault rifle, he'll benefit greatly from the effects of assault rifle 1. But having handgun level 1, as well as surveyor level 1, means that he's got a good backup handgun he can use in auto aim if he ever gets stuck in a pinch where he's not able to reload. His other main abilities involve Trickster level 3 and Runner level 1. So the combination of Trickster level 3 and Runner 1 means that in modes like Rescue, you can get your defensive perimeter set up very, very quickly in very, very little time. His other unique skill, which player count characters cannot get, is Awareness Special. Awareness allows him to see traps from further away in comparison to skills like Sixth Sense. And they also don't display their active radius. I believe that Konami originally had this ability to represent that he had a PDA that could disarm traps, but because he doesn't have the ability to SOP link of his teammates, they didn't give him this, the Sixth Sense ability, and this was given to, as a replacement. But this is a, a superior version of Sixth Synth, because also gives him the unique ability to be able to disarm traps at range. So not only can he see traps at range, but he can disarm them as well. John has two unique weapons, the first of which is Eximus Compact. It is a very, very good gun, considering that it functions nearly identically to the regular Eximate. That being said, its damage value and its distance values are the same as the M4, so it operates at roughly the same damage and uh, range banding as a regular assault rifle. The advantage of this gun is that it has very, very, very little recoil, and it also comes with a free red dot sight. You can use the red dot sight by holding L1 to aim and pressing the triangle button to go into first person view. Because the gun has so very little recoil, even if you miss a shot, you can auto-correct very, very easily. And the recoil of the gun is so low, it's practically like firing a laser. Like, if I was to fire at this wall and move left, you can see that the bullets are practically in a line. This gun is one of the best guns in the game if you like using assault rifles. Johnny's second unique weapon is the M82A2 Anti-Material Sniper Rifle, and this weapon is ridiculous. In a single bullet, it can kill someone. Its damage value is S rank, its distance value is S rank, and its penetration value is also S rank. And penetration value being that high, meaning if someone's behind a piece of wooden cover and you shoot through it, chances are they're going to take full damage and still die. And this is an example of how powerful this gun is. If I shoot someone in the foot, they'll still take full damage and die, even at this distance. This gun is probably the best gun in the game if we're talking about sheer, you know, bullet to damage ratio. The drawback is though that after every shot you have to wait before you can make another shot. But it is honestly the only real drawback, as the gun also has a B rank in reloading, so it reloads quite quickly in comparison to some of the other sniper rifles at the DSR one. Johnny is unique in that not only can he spot traps through walls, he can also disarm them remotely. So as you walk towards a trap, you'll see that this one over here has a little orange icon behind the text that says Claymore, but that up there does not. If I move closer over here, you can see that these are both now highlighted. That little orange part signifies that trap can be disarmed and you're in distance for it. So for instance, if I move into distance for both of these, and I hit the disarm button, I will disarm both traps. And this can be done through walls as well. So for instance, this claymore, I can disarm from this side as well. You don't need line of sight, 
as long as you're within the distance to the target and it appears yellow on the icon, you can disarm the trap. The second of Johnny's unique abilities is rather odd. After three kills, Johnny will... well... He'll shit himself. The gas cloud he leaves will leave opponents coughing, as well as friendlies coughing, so you need to be very careful to not accidentally run through teammates as well. This cloud makes it very hard for people to react to you. So you kind of just can run directly at people, and hope you grab them. Now the big issue with this ability is that whenever you're forced into the animation you cannot move, dodge or change weapons or do anything to cancel it at all. It pretty much means you're a sitting duck. I find that the best thing to do with Johnny is whenever you get two kills you kind of want to then after you get two kills to make your third kill be done by a grenade or a trap or buy a sniper rifle shot from very far away and try to maximize your chances of staying alive when forced into that animation. Similar to Meryl, Johnny also has a balaclava, which can be unequipped and equipped to alter his appearance. Something that's very important to keep in mind when playing as Johnny is that Johnny is not evil perform any CQC actions. He can't perform any CQC slams or any CQC holds. He can perform a regular punch punch kick combo, but as the only CQC action that he is capable of doing, as every other animation will simply just whiff. 